Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be bringing you guys a book tag and today I'm going to be doing the Stranger Things book tag. So basically this was created by Sarah Sumby and I was tagged by Olivia from I Livy for Books so thank you so much to her for tagging me and let's just get started. First question, epic intro. The opening sequence of Stranger Things is amazing and really grabs your attention. Name a book that grabbed your attention from the first page. I took this to the next level, the first line. You can do the first word. Someone should do that. That'd be cool. Okay. But I chose We Are the Ants by Sean David Hutchinson. Um, the first sentence is life is bullshit. And I'm like, yes. <laughs> so I, as soon as I read the first line, I was like, I literally highlighted it. What? I didn't even know I wrote in this book. What? I highlighted it. That's cute. Okay. This is great. You should read this. Oh yeah. I did. I did this on it. Why am I forgetting so much? Aww. I Now I want to reread it. <laughs> now I'm sad. Now I want to reread it. Dungeons and Drags. It's name a fantasy world you would like to experience yourself. And for this, I have the whole entire Shadowhunter world. I love it so much. I know it's so generic. Everyone on booktube is like, I love Shadowhunters, but like I love these worlds and these characters so much. And I think it'd just be really cool. Like I would love to be like a vampire because people say I kind of look like one, which thank you. Um, <laughs> probably not a compliment, but I'll take it. Um, or a, not a war, I wouldn't want to be a warlock or just a shadow hunter because they wear black all the time and I do that and it, I would just, mm, yeah. Point is, is I love this world. So I would love to be a part of it and Yes, I love it. It's so generic. I honestly, now I feel like so weird when I'm like, oh my God, I love these books because everyone says that. And I'm like, ah, another booktuber is talking about it. Oh my God. No, I'm kidding. Um, next question. Squad goals. When Eleven met Mike, Dustin, and Lucas, it was almost a perfect team. Name your favorite bookish group of friends. So I could have went again with a Shadowhunter answer, but I thought I would go with Mr. Mercedes by Stephen King. And this is more in the second book the team actually gets involved, but that's Holly, Durham, and Bill. I love them. They literally, like, later they solve crimes together a little bit, and it's just, I don't want to say too much because spoilers, but it's so great. I love their squad. I think they're adorable. Jerome is me. Like, <laughs> I keep saying that. Sorry. It's just become, like, habit now. But I literally opened this book, and the first word I saw was bastard. That's nice. Um, these books are great. If you haven't read them, you should. ABCs and Christmas lights. Oh. Joyce Byers goes mad with grief after Will goes missing. Name your favorite mentally unhinged character. I love this question. So I'm going to go with um, Amy and Nick. Nick and Amy. Yes, Nick and Amy from Gone Girl. They're both so screwed up. And I love them both in that way, sort of. But yeah, the movie's good too. But the book is so good. It's just like, for me, it took me a bit to get into. But once I did so good so good the movie's good too and the movie's actually like pretty accurate so yeah upside down name a book name a book that was the opposite of what you expected for this i'm going to be going with the female of the species by minnie mcginnis i've talked about this before and how i had really different expectations but i thought this was a lighthearted contemporary and it turned out to be a dark thriller contemporary and it was great i love it so much like it's probably one of my favorites of the year but it's just not what i thought <laughs> Um, for some reason I was like, oh, contemporary, fun. And then I went into it and I was like, no, <laughs> wrong. Mom, yeah. I love you. Love you too. Number six, mad science. Dr. Brenner likes to get freaky with humanity. Name the freakiest dystopian government you can think of. So literally in my notebook where I write down my answers, I literally wrote, I don't care. So moving on, <laughs> Demogorgon. Name a scary bookish creature that you would not want to come through your walls. This one was hard for me because of a lot of like the scary creatures in books. Meow. meow. A lot of like the scary creatures in books. I think they're kind of cute, which is weird. <laughs> but a lot of them, I'm like, aw, like you're scary, but like it's cute. So this one was hard for me. But I decided to go with Cujo by Stephen King because... I actually never finished this whole entire book. I remember getting three quarters of the way through. But I remember, like, when I was younger, I've talked about this before, but I had a really big fear of dogs. So if this dog, like, during, like, the, um, you know, after all the stuff happens, like, not when he was nice, he used to be nice, then whoop, not anymore. Um, but, you know, after he went all, yeah, if that came through my walls, girl, I would have just died of fear. <laughs> like, 
banger. Name a book that left you wanting more. For this, I have The Girl Who Left Tom Gordon by Stephen King. I'm saying a lot of Stephen King ones. I didn't even know I had this many until I looked. But The Girl Who Left Tom Gordon, I love the story. It's really cute. It's just, well, it's not cute at all. I'm great at describing books. Why do you watch me? Um, this is about a girl who gets lost in the woods and it's about her experience there um, and all that sort of stuff. I wanted more from it. I like, I really liked it. Like it wasn't the best book ever, but for what it was, I just enjoyed it and I just have good memories associated with it. So I really like, I liked it and I think it was good, but I just wish it was longer. I just, they could, like he could have added a lot more stuff to it and a lot more layers. It was more like of a simplistic King story. I know it's kind of weird to say because his books aren't simple, but this one was more of a like straightforward kind of plot. Like it's not as like complicated as like Mr. Mercedes or like it or, yeah, so that's what I was saying with that. But yeah, that was the Stranger Things book tag. I'm so excited for Stranger Things to come back. I don't know what day this video is gonna go up on, but usually I know, but this time I don't. So I don't know what day I'm gonna put this video up on, but it comes back on October 27, 2017, and I'm so excited for it. Um, I love that show. Literally, my Funkos are chilling there. I love them, they're so cute. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to be tagging a few people. So I'm gonna be tagging Peter Likes Books because he's like my fave. Um, I'm gonna be tagging Dylan the Reader 5 because he's my boo. <laughs> I'm great at this. I'm going to be tagging Jessie's shelf because I love watching her videos and I'm going to be tagging Midnight Reads because I also love watching her videos and she just hit 10k and I'm like yes girl here's a tag. So if you guys want to do it do it. I don't know if you've done it. I don't think you've done it or else I probably would have saw it but yeah. <laughs> I'll see you very soon with a new video. Bye! you